Arts. I'm Ellie Whittington. And I'm Thomas Hale. Before we get into the show, Ellie and I are going to work off some of that stuffing by <laughs> taking on the quick hitters. <laughs> oh, how the mighty have fallen. On Friday, it was announced former NBA MVP and number one overall pick Derrick Rose will be taking a leave from the Cleveland Cavaliers in order to evaluate his NBA future. Rose, only 29 years old, has dealt with significant injuries throughout his career and was facing at least two weeks sidelined with an ankle injury when the announcement was made. So, Ellie, what's your take on the whole situation? I can't say that he's wrong for wanting to take a break from what he thinks is right, but I do believe that he's 29 years old and he's in his prime. He needs to keep playing. If this is something that he truly wants to do. think he's in his prime? Well, with his Age injury, wise? maybe not yeah. his prime. Yeah, a couple but, injuries in yeah. there. Yeah, but I think that he's not too old, and like if he was feeling like he was aging out, then maybe it's your time to step away. But he has had a lot go not in his favor. For and sure. I can understand why he needs to step away from the sport and reevaluate, just like a lot of players have done in the NFL. I and think other that when you've had the amount of injuries, major injuries that Derrick mm -hmm. Rose has had, he tore his ACL in 12 and had meniscus tears after that and both knees and had all kinds of ankle soreness, just – Injuries throughout the season, every season. It's constant. I think he needs a break eventually. And also talking about this injury thing, the unfortunate thing that happened last season with, with the rape lawsuit that came against him that ended mm -hmm. up not being true. I mean, how does that damage you as a person? So I understand why he thinks Comes that. Comes a point where I think time. there are more things to left in basketball, and maybe it's time for him to move on. Well, it seems like most scandals recently have involved the world of college basketball. Major League Baseball has been rocked by a few of its own over the last week. On Friday, MLB Commissioner Rob Manford announced that former Atlanta Braves GM John Copella, excuse me, would be banned from his baseball career for life due to his participation in signing bonus scheme, which ended with 13 Braves prospects being declared free agents. So, Thomas, what does this mean for Atlanta? Let me tell you what, their real building process just got a whole lot tougher. I will say that right now. Any team losing 13 prospects is in a world of hurt, especially the Atlanta Braves. I will say this, the Atlanta Braves were in a world of hurt before this even happened. Exactly. They I've haven't made the top five of the NF NL since 2013. And my thing is, I can name one player mm -hmm. on the Braves lineup, Freddie Freeman. Does anyone, if you're not even, you're not a huge baseball fan, right. do you know anyone on the Braves team? I wouldn't say so, and I think that some of these guys that they could have brought in could have become some household names, it seems like. One guy, Kevin Maitan, mm -hmm. he was a 38th ranked player, top prospect, me, and they lost him. For me, like 38th pick is not huge. Yeah. I think that the Braves made a mistake when they did their rebuilding the first time, mm -hmm. you know, scooted out the Upton brothers, Kimbrell, you know, there, there's your pitcher, and these, these players that built this. They built a new stadium, and they said, oh, we're going to rebuild our team to have this new stadium. Why would you even go watch the Braves play? Yeah. Because their team is terrible. Yeah. And then you do this thing, and you're really screwed now. But and this my sets thing them is like for a lot of bad things in the future as well. They're not going to be able to pick up any players for the next three or four years, it looks yeah, like. Yeah, I think that your take is that it's really bad for them. My take is it's not any worse than it already was. And so it, what's it going to matter for them rebuilding? They're already rebuilding. The Braves were lost. They're, they're staying lost <laughs> for a while. <laughs> The Atlanta Braves aren't the only MLB team in hot water right now. Last week, six players in the Toronto Blue Jays farm system were suspended after testing positive for boldenone, a steroid typically used for veterinary use. So, Ellie, how bad is this for the Jays? Terrible. Yeah? You have someone that these players are getting suspended for drug use. This looks bad on the Jays. Mm -hmm. My thing is, is this is their farm team system. Something is going on down the line that needs to be stopped. Yeah, and I think the first place you look at is the training staff. These guys are getting these PEDs from somebody. It's usually somebody that practices medicine, and it's probably somebody that's training them. You know, I kind of might disagree with that. Now, I don't, neither one of us can say where they're getting these drugs from, but you think it's the training staff. I think that it could possibly be out of the country. I'm saying this because the seven players that were suspended in 2017 excuse me, 2017 came from the Dominican Republic League, mm. the farm team of the Blue Jays. Mm -hmm. So all of the players suspended this year, at some point were they in the Dominican Republic. I think that something is going on outside of this country that is, that they are mm. starting this. So and maybe the MLB up. may need to look into investigating farm teams overseas. Yes. Checking and, and those that's practices just, that's out. That's just, I think, a speculation. I'm not mm -hmm. saying that that's what's happening, and I, and I definitely can't say this. But I think that how bad it looks for the Blue Jays, because think back when, like, a Rod was caught with his steroid. Right. People were calling him A Royd, and it looked not terrible, only terrible on A Rod, but the yeah. whole Yankees system. I don't think we're going to hear as much about this because these Blue Jays players are not household names like Alex Rodriguez, but it looks bad on the Toronto Blue Jays. MLB has been trying to fight drug use for so long, mm -hmm. and this is just another step that they're taking towards it. So 
Not a good direction for the Jays right now. When the Boston Celtics lost forward Gordon Hayward to season-ending injury in the first game of the year, it looked like an end of the Celtics' hopes. But however, Boston has won 18 of their last 20 games, including a 16-game winning streak, largely thanks to defense, rebounding, and Kyrie Irving. So, Thomas, how far do you think the Celtics are going to go? Look, congrats to the Celtics. They're mm -hmm. doing great right now, and they're lucky that the Cavs are doing so bad. But as long as LeBron James is in the Eastern Conference, the Celtics are not making the finals. They're going to get to the Eastern Conference finals. They're going to play the Cavs. They're going to lose that series. I disagree. I'm done seeing the Cavs in the finals. Okay. And I don't think it's going to happen this year. The Celtics are going all the way to the finals. Why do you say because that? Because Jalen Brown has been playing incredible. He's averaging 16 points a game, which is a huge jump from last year when he was in the single digits. Absolutely. And you have one of the best coaches in the league. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you start from your coaching staff going down to your players, and I just said Kyrie Irving, how can you, you can talk about LeBron I'm not going to argue that they're not playing day. bad. I'm going to, I'm going to argue that. Their defense, the Cavs defense, their matchups, Isaiah Thomas, when he comes back one-on-one -on -one against Kyrie Irving, that's going to be a shootout. That'll be fun to I'm watch. I'm not telling you the Cavs no are bad. No one can cover LeBron James still. And when you can't have an answer to LeBron James like the Warriors do. I was going to say, the Warriors have an answer to LeBron James. Mm -hmm. So who says that the Celtics can't have an answer to LeBron James? I do. He can be shut down by someone, and it might be the Celtics. Celtics. Not I'm anyone done, on I'm there. Done. Okay, the Cavs are not doing great right now. Can you agree no, with that? No, they're not. I do agree with and that. And they might continue on. The Celtics that are. happens so every we're season, right now. LeBron's team start pretty poorly in the beginning, then make that huge playoff Oh, my gosh, they're not run. called the James. They're called the Cavaliers. It's a oh, whole I team mean, of every people. Team's basically the Celtics the James. are playing well. The Cavs are not. Okay. We'll see when the, uh, when the finals roll around then. <laughs> we'll, we'll settle this later. Okay, <laughs> that's all the time we have for these quick hitters, but don't go anywhere because I will be joined at the desk for some MLB free agency action. Stay tuned.